Hello my friends, good morning. Welcome to another live crafting corner with Stephanie and Ken kind of off the camera. Uh, let's do a couple of shout outs because I know that I see the chat going like crazy. Um, hi Quilty, good morning. Oh, Sharon said she loved the music, Ken. That's good to know, thank you. Uh, Jennifer says hello, Ken and Stephanie, hello. Hi Gina in Florida. Hi Kathy in Central Texas. Good morning, Susan, or she's afternoon in Minnesota. Hello. Hi, Anne in Texas. Uh, good morning from Kent, Washington, Mary Ann said. Good morning. Teresa said, what pretty music. Wow, Kenny, you're getting a lot of compliments on the music choice. Um, hi, Nancy and Tim, also known as Mr. Empty Wallet. Um, let's see, she's in Texas. I'm sorry, Arizona. Hi, Jeannie. Um, hi, Jill. Good morning. Hi, Teresa and Sheila. Good morning. Hi, Carol. Hi, Margaret in East Ohio. Hi, Shelby. Good morning. Hi, Anne Marie. Um, hi, Janet in Florida and Sandra in New uh, Nebraska. Sorry, I had to think in my head what NE stood for. <laughs> uh, Gloria wants me to remind everybody to make sure you click thumbs up and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, that really helps our numbers or whatever it is, but it's very important. So thank you very much, Gloria, for the re re reminder. Hi, Shelly. Good morning in Corona. Uh, hi, Karini in North Carolina and Elizabeth in New Hampshire. Hi, Karen in Pennsylvania and Sharon in Puerto Rico. Hi, Dina. Good morning. Hi, Ellen Cuts Paper. Good morning. Hi, Mary. Hi, Fred. Well, really, Cheryl. <laughs> hi, Sapphire. Hello. Hi, Carmen and Jeannie and Barbara in Redding, California. Uh, hi, Connie in Indiana. Good morning. Hi, Gloria. Uh, hi, Debbie. She says, finally caught alive. Woohoo! Yay, Debbie! Yay, yay, yay. Um, oh, Quilty wants me to remind everybody again, please like and share. Oh, gosh, you guys, if you share, it really, really helps us. So if you could just click that share button right now, boom, that would help us. And if you click share now, that means more people will see us live because it'll go out to their feeds and their information and, and, and more people will see us though. So that would be amazing. A different Gloria. Hi, Gloria in South Carolina. Hi, Arla in Palo Cedro, California. Hi, Lainey in Oregon. Hello. Hi, Anne-Marie. Oh, Anne-Marie says liked and shared. Thank you, my love. Hi, Debbie in Northern Virginia. Hello, hello. Hi, Kathy in Texas and Barbara. Good morning. Hi, Jill. Now, Guess what, my friends? Oh, Kenny's working on the Facebook. Facebook changed a couple other things, and they don't like think to tell people they're going to change things. They just change them, and then they say, good luck trying to figure it out. So Kenny's working on trying to figure out that Facebook because it's a little different this time, and we don't like when they change things. It's very confusing. Hi, Deb Stamper. Good morning. Hi, Crafty Myrna. Uh, let's see. Oh, Christy's in Wrightwood, California, and Nicole's in Minnesota. Carol, hello. Um, so a couple updates. Tonight is well technically it's tomorrow but you guys all know because you've you've been with us a while it's always the night before the famous infamous because nobody has gotten it because it was sold out so quickly glory says is that a card kit box on your desk yes i'm going to show you this month's card kit um just because we have a couple left so i wanted to see if anybody wanted that uh jill says calendar swapped for turtle yes jill good eye um we had to swap it because we were getting too many complaints that um the numbers were wrong and there's a reason sometimes why the numbers are wrong because like for example yesterday all day long Kenny and I taped every video for April, okay? And then right now this morning, boom, it's back to March. So you never know what we're taping or doing live or doing anything. And sometimes, because I'm not perfect and I'm not even halfway perfect, I would forget to change the calendar. And so we're getting um, a lot of comments about March has more than 28 days. Yes, I know. I've been around a long time, trust me, I know. However, sometimes I forget to change it. And it was really upsetting a couple people. And so finally I just said, you know what? I'll make it easy for everybody, especially myself. We'll lose the calendar. So it's on a different wall in here. That way I can still see it, but I don't have to change it every other day to be different. You know, it's easy to change the magnets, but it's not easy to change all the numbers when you need to, if you need to for 
15 minutes while I do a video and then 15 minutes back. So it just got way too crazy in my mind. So that's why we did it. Um, we just had to change it out. Um, although we are going to get rid of the turtle and Kenny and I were talking about putting our logo up there. So eventually we're probably going to get a logo up there um, that just says the stamps of life or something like that. Um, we're still kind of talking about that. We haven't figured that one out yet. But hi Vicki. She says howdy Stephanie. Hello. Jill says I love your quirks. Well thank you Jill. I appreciate you um, because you're one of the few that likes my quirks. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I just you know I, we just do our best and we're just a little company it's funny you know a lot of times people will compare us to other companies that have like 50 employees Kenny and I were talking about a company today that we know of in the industry not that one that you're thinking of a different one and uh, they have like 50 I think they said they told me 52 employees I'm like wow we have three and a half <laughs> So we everybody wears different hats and a lot of times some, unfortunately some things fall through the cracks. So that's it. Um, Deborah says makes sense. Thank you. Lori says love the tortoise picture. Thank you my love. Thank you. Um, Lori love seeing you and your family at the trains last weekend. I'm so glad you jumped in. Lori let me tell my story you guys. Last weekend Kirsten, there's this little place and Lori could give us more information but there is like a train community in um, Orange County and uh, they ever, I think it's twice a month is that right Lori twice a month they open it up and let the public come in for free they do collect donations and don't worry we took care of that but they allow you to come in and ride on these trains now you're thinking wow these trains must be kind of large they are. They're so, Terry says, I love that your company is so small. Thank you. Yes. And Diane says, who, is, who can pay attention to that? I know. I get it. I know. I know. It's not one of you guys. You know that. Come on. It's, it's just somebody that just wanted to ruffle my feathers. I get it though. Okay. So, um, but so we went to this place and Lori can give us the real name. I didn't know much about it. Kirsten found it. And so Kirsten, my daughter, my oldest and her husband, Ke uh, Colin and the two babies, Liam and Miller and Ken and Stephanie went to this thing on um last saturday and we um you get to ride on these trains so the baby sat like you you like literally it's like a little stool but kenny how many people do you think it held how many people do you think the train held the train maybe around 20. all right okay so each train held about 20 people and they had lots of trains how many trains do you think they had going four or five yeah. or six uh -huh. yeah they had quite a few and it was a blast so you get to ride on it, and I'm thinking, okay, it'll be like a three-minute ride. Kirsten said she timed it, and it was 14 minutes. Free. You get to go in and out. We saw squirrels. We saw lizards. We saw beautiful flowers. It was on this huge amount of land that it was. it's across the street from Stencia High School in Costa Mesa. And it was so much fun. And the boys were like, at first, well, Lori... This is between you and me, Lori. We didn't measure Miller. We didn't see officially if he met the height requirements. We just kind of like pretended not to see that sign. Because I was a little concerned he might have not gotten exactly that height. Liam, yes, Liam's fine. But I'm like, good, Miller has shoes on because, you know, got to tell that kid to stand up straight. Um, but yeah, so it's Orange County Model Engineers open, oh, the third weekend of each month. And um, the engine will run in April also. Okay, so it's, thank you, Lori. So it's the third weekend of every month. And it was so much fun. Orange County Model Engineers. So now these trains, so keep in mind, so for 20 people to ride this train, it has to be a pretty good size, right? And it had a whole bunch of little cars. And so we all sat down on it. Miller sat in my lap. Um, Kenny had Liam and we're riding and, and Kirsten and Colin didn't get a baby. It was funny. They're sitting in behind us and they're just sitting by themselves, but it was lovely. So, okay, we went on these trains. Then of course they have a gift shop. Now, come on, you cannot be an official Nana and not go into the gift shop, right? So, of course, Miller found this cute little train stuffed animal. And then, of course, you have to buy one for the other one. So we got one for him. And then they had those train whistles. You know, those ones that go, choo, choo. Okay, something's wrong with me because I cannot make the whistle work. Everyone else in the family can make it work. I cannot. Something's wrong with me. I, don't, I can't whistle in real life, so maybe that's part of it. But... So we're at the cashier's register and I keep in mind I have my hat on my baseball cap and my sunglasses 
and Kirsten doesn't have anything on. She just has her face. And we're each holding a kid. And there's two ladies at the cashier. And one lady starts ringing us up. And this other lady looks at Kirsten. And she kind of looked at me a little bit. But she looked at Kirsten and then she looked at me. She goes, I know who you are. And I, I kind of looked at KJ and I go, who are we? <laughs> because I don't know who we are. And Kirsten, and, and, and Lori said, you're Kirsten and you're Stephanie. And I said, what? And I, so I took off my glasses and my, my, my uh, hat. And I'm like, whoa, how do you know us? And she's like, I'm in your club. I'm like, get out. No way. Okay, because you guys think that people know me. No one knows me. So it was like a big deal that somebody recognized me. And she said, Stephanie, I recognize your daughter first. And keep in mind, I had my big hat on and I had my big glasses on. So, of course, no. And my hair was pulled back. So, I mean, I look like a totally different person when, when I dress like that. And so... Um, it was the it was the awesomest thing. We took pictures. Lori, I didn't get the pictures from Kirsten. I need to get the pictures because I need to post, I need to show them off. But it was so fun. And we got to talk to Lori. We got to visit with her. We got to find out more information about the train. She said her son like grew up with this with this group. And so it was just a really fun thing. So make sure you go check it out. Okay, because it's it's really, really fun. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Lou Jean says, your company's small, but it is mighty. Bless you. Thank you. Ramona says, people in Southern California should check it out next month. Yes, check it out. And Kirsten and Colin will be taking the babies by themselves next month because we got to have all the glory and um, they didn't. They didn't get to have the kids. So it was it was very fun for us. Um, Ken, did you have anything to add or are you still busy trying to No, I'm this? busy over here trying yeah. to get, get things it. to work. <laughs> yeah. He's busy. He's still trying to figure it all out. Okay. Um, Kalinda says, trains are so fun. My husband has a, an HO model train layout to take music, um, regular train rides. Oh, see, I can't see the whole chat. So sorry. It's getting cut off a little bit. Um, but yeah, so it was really awesome. We had a great time. Lori, I'm so thankful I got to... I I know you said you went to the store days before, but you know, when we'd have the store days, there'd be so many people. I didn't get to like really like zone in on people but um so it was official it was nice to officially meet you and get to visit with you so that was really a great time we had a great time so it was fun um let's see and the babies love trains of course That's what little boy doesn't love trains right um let's see i'm thinking of lori says i was able to get the youtube video on my tv lori you are amazingly awesome that is awesome. I wish I could try to figure out, the, out that how somehow. But uh, Gina says, you never know who's crafty when you're out and about. That is true. That is true. And sometimes, every once in a while, I'll have people kind of stare at me. Like they'll go, and they'll smile. And so I'll look at them and I'll smile back, wondering if maybe I have something in my teeth or if maybe they recognize me. Um, but if, for some reason, if you ever do see me, please come up and talk to me. I'm not a famous person. So I would love to talk to anyone, you know. I'm, I'm not famous, so I mean, I would love to talk to anyone. So if you ever see me, please come up to us and talk to me. Um, Kimberly says, my husband worked 38 years for a train company. Oh, how fun. That's awesome. Um, um, Helene says, um, new, are you still with Sizzix? Helene, no, I'm not. I'm no longer with Sizzix. Um, I, I think we kind of like broke up a couple years ago, but we're fully on our own and we sell other companies products. Like we sell the Spellbinders machine and we sell Crafters Companion machines as well. And a couple other Crafters Companion items as well as the Totally Tiffany items on our website. But welcome. It's always nice to have brand new people here. So I'm happy you're here. And in a couple minutes, I'm going to stop yakking and we're going to start making a card. So stay tuned for that. That's in a couple minutes. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I was supposed to talk about, Kenny, before we moved on. Not that I know of. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. Uh, oh, really quick. Tonight's release. Boom, boom. Debbie says you're famous in my book step. Well, thank you. You're so sweet. Um, tonight's release. Tonight, the cross flip it is coming. Okay. So those of you that missed it on HSN when I took it on HSN, please, please, please make sure that you go get um, this tonight. I did not order that many because I, I thought a lot of people already had it on from HSN, but it sounds like some people missed it. So I know a lot of people have been requesting this one. So just heads up on that one. Okay. Let's see. Let's move on. And I am going to... Unfortunately, I drink because my mouth is so dry. And, um, sorry. 
Okay, sorry. And I did move my um, my microphone. Oh, now it's like sticking out here. Um, okay. Uh, would love a train folded. Very good idea. Haleen says, uh, I so enjoy your presentations. Glad to have found you. I'm glad you found us. Uh, you probably found us because somebody shared the video, so I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Oh, good. Merlin already has a cross flip it. That's awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, the cross flip it is very, very awesome. Uh, but some people didn't get it, so I'm glad that it's going to be out tonight. We're going to talk about something that was already released. And this is from the Monday I was supposed to do the live online reveal and got really, really, really sick. And I won't give you any more details on that. If you really want to know the details, go watch my Monday, No Makeup Monday. Nicole says, you are famous in my house. My six-year-old loves your videos. Oh, thank you, Nicole. You're so sweet. Thank you. Okay. Diamond Flip It Plus card die. Now, why does it have the word plus? Why does it have, oops, there it is. Why does it have that word plus? Because it has this hidden panel. What do I mean? Let me show you. Let me show you what a standard flip it looks like. This is a mini version. This is actually from our uh, one of our card card kits. And this one, are you ready for this? Watch this. Dun dun dun. dun. It opens and closes. Look at that. Look how cute that is. Look at the doily. You guys remember how I always say doilies are everywhere. You just don't notice it, but there's a doily. But look how cute that is. And see how that heart's moving and it's totally crooked. There we go. That heart is totally moving, right? But people, when I first came out with these, oh my gosh, probably what, eight or nine years ago now, the one uh, comment I would get a lot is, where am I supposed to write? Like, if I write my message right here, it's gonna, it's gonna detract from the design. Um, and I said, well, you could write it on the back or you could do the hidden panel technique. Now, I'm not gonna do the hidden panel technique today. If you wanna see that video to make, turn any of your flip -its, except I think there's two that don't work because they have two fancy edges, um, go, go to our video section on our website and search hidden panel, hidden panel. But I designed this die to have the hidden panel automatically, which is really important because Stephanie K wants me to remind you to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you. So what this one does is the normal flip it would just do this, right? Cute, cute, right? This is a diamond shape, cute, cute. See how it opens? But this die takes it a step further and added automatically the hidden panel. So now when you open it, you see this, see it's pretty when you give it, right? But when you open it up, it has this hidden panel. So now in here, you can write your message. You can hide a gift card. You can say whatever you want to say without detracting from the gorgeous front of the card, right? Because normally you'd have to write right here and it would be really boring. But if you do it this way, now you have a spot to write, okay? Or add a gift card or do whatever you want to do. So this is going to be really, really fun. And I, and, oh, here's another example of it, just so you can see too. So here's another one. We're going to open and close this one and we're ready. Here we go. Open. That would be a normal flip it. And if you want it to be a normal flip it, you can trim it off and make it just normal flip it. But dun, 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 it has that hidden panel. So you can hide that gift card. You can write your message. You can do anything like that. Would a bell fold it also an empty grave for die for Easter? Actually, Rich, we have something. So, uh, I gotta zip my mouth. Can't say anything. <laughs> Sorry, but your 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 comment has been heard. Okay, but so here we go, and we're gonna make one of these because I got a lot of requests. Um, I was supposed to show it live, and of course, I got sick, and uh, that's another story. So what we're gonna do? This is again the Diamond Flip It Plus. We are going, now, this does fit in a six inch machine. You know, I gotta move this for now. It does fit in a six inch machine with the extended cutting pads you will need, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up. Do you think we might do a thanks fold it sometime? I looked, but I didn't see one on our website. We have a thank you coming up. Okay, that's close, that'll work. So here we have the base. This is the main die. Always the main die is gonna be the biggest die in the set, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, and I pulled some colors because I still have from my card kit. Um, again, Gloria had pointed this out. We still have a couple, let me make sure this is the right month. This is not the right month. 
this is April. I can't show this. Um, but the, the March kit, we still have a couple left. And it's okay. I have some of it here. And uh, this is what it looks like. This is the paper pad. It comes with the, um, the cutting sheets for the umbrella and the basket. This is called the Missing You Collection. And I grabbed some of the papers from there. So I'm going to use those. I have a whole bunch of them out. And what I'm going to do is kind of look. Oh, and of course, this is my favorite paper in the pad. Hello. Is this awesome? Also, really quick. Heads up, don't forget, remember how I told you our, our paper costs have gone up 55%? Every month they would go up 1, 2, 5%, 10%. The last jump was 55%. My price went up 55%. Now, thankfully your price will not go up 55%, but it is going to go up April 1st. That's no fool's joke, I'm sorry. Um, so on the first release, on the night of the first, so the night before the first, that means the 31st of March, Get your orders in for our first release because you'll pay the lower price for the paper and cardstock. April 1st, I have to raise those prices. I'm giving you a heads up right now. Paper pads and cardstock unfortunately have to go up in price April 1st. Get your orders in before then. March 31st, you can get your order in for the first without paying the higher prices, okay? Heads up. Meanwhile, this paper pad, this paper is my most favorite. So we're gonna use this one on this paper. Uh, I'm sorry, on this card. Now, one of my tips that I always like to share is find a paper pad, or I'm sorry, find a pa pattern paper sheet that you want to use, and then look at it, and now you're saying, okay, let's do the three on this one, Kenny. So here I have the paper I wanna use, and I'm like, okay, this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna use this paper. Well, I need to find a yellow that matches, boom. I need to find a pink that matches, boom. Um, let's see, oh, I need that cantaloupe color, boom. Oh, I mean cherry, that's cherry, sorry. So now I have that cherry, and I might wanna pull in a blue because I see some blue in here, so I'm gonna pull in that one. So now I have my total color, uh, my whole color palette done, right? I didn't have to go, ooh, should I use this one? Should I use that one? Should I use this one? Boom, it's all right there and I'm ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at these colors and say, which one do I want for my card base? And you know what, just because I can, I'm gonna pick guava because guava is probably one of my absolute favorites. But of course, it's pink. Now, if okay. you're in the card kit club, that price is not going up, right? Even though the price of the paper pads are going up, is that correct? Correct. If you're in one of our clubs, so if you're in the stamp club, the die hard club, or the card kit club, your price is not going up. You are grandfathered in until you leave the club, you're paying that same price. Okay, so I have people that's, that joined the card kit club in the very, very beginning. There was already one price increase. What was it, like a year and a half ago, Kenny? Yes. And they're still paying this price over here. Now, if I, unfortunately ever, if I ever have to, I'm not going to now, but if I ever have to raise it again, these people that are over here that have not left the club are still paying the lower price. In 10 years, when the price might be up here, guess what? As long as you stay in the club, your price is staying down here. It does not change. Again, stamp club, same thing. Die hard club, same thing. Once you lock in that price, as long as you stay current, your price will never go up. Okay? So that's one of the good things about being in the club and never leaving. Even if, like, like let me give you an example, you guys, um, just to stay in. Like, let's say you're in the Die Hard Club and something happens and you're like, oh, I got to stay in the club, but I can't be in both. Just downgrade to the Stamp Club just so you keep your benefits. That's always, for example, here's an example, you guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm on a tangent. I'll talk while I do this. Okay. I saw an order come in today, because um, I see all the personalized orders, right? So I saw an order come in, I think it was probably last night. Um, actually, it was from Canada, as a matter of fact. And it was an order for a personalized stamp, and the total, because they ordered a whole bunch of stuff, was $200, the total. Now I'm a little crooked, I bite. Okay, hang on, let me get this going through, because I went crooked. Okay, um, the total of the order was $200. Now, unfortunately, that person was not a club member. If they would have been a club member, how much would they have saved, Kenny, for on a $200 order? 15%? Yeah. It would have been $30. They would have saved $30 on one order. Now, Stamp Club is only $13.99 a month. Now, in, in Canada, it's $0.50 cents extra, so it's... 
fourteen fifty. Let's just say fourteen fifty a month. They could have gotten two free months of the stamp club, so they would have gotten two free stamp sets if they would have joined. Plus, still saved an extra what ten bucks or something. Is that crazy? Oh, I know. I hate when I see things like that. I'm like, no. You, if it would have been cheaper for you to be in the club, um, yeah. So okay. So I die cut this. I'm gonna. I have all of this lovely. It's great. I'm gonna just put it off to the side for now. Now, I'm gonna grab all these pieces. Excuse me. When I talk too much, I get all excited. Okay. I'm gonna lay this one down. I know for sure that I want one to be the flowers because hello, they're flowers. Okay, so we're gonna lay that one down. Oh, that one I don't need to tape. But this one I do need to tape and there's two layering dies. Plus there's this one. So I'm gonna tape this one down because this has a pattern. See this pattern right here? I should move all of this so it gets out of your face here. But see how it has a pattern? If I put the die on here like that, that'd be horrible, right? Because it would not line up right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up on the paper just like that and I'm just gonna tape it down so it doesn't move. Now this little die over here, I'm gonna take this one, that's another layering die and I'm gonna get another piece of washi and I'm gonna lay this down right here so that design is straight, okay? Now I'm gonna take these all over to my machine and I'm gonna bring them over here. Now I don't want, we're gonna get Oh, there we go. I don't want this to go straight through the machine. I need to go a little bit at an angle because I don't want um, a speed bump. Now, I do have another sheet under here, okay? That's just a solid sheet. So I'm gonna die cut two at the same time on that one, at an angle, and then this one I'm gonna do at an angle too, just like that, okay? And I'm gonna line this up a little better than I did last time. And we're gonna run this baby through. Okay, so we got all that. I always like to die cut a whole bunch at one time just because then I'm not over here for 40 minutes, right? Okay. So I'm going to run this through. La, 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 la. I love die cutting. I know there's electronic machines out there um, that will die cut it for you without dies. They're electronic. They're like computer-based. But I was watching a video the other day because I was um, looking for something, and I came across a, a, it was a video for an electronic machine, and it took the girl about 40 minutes to die cut everything. Not die cut, they weren't dies, they were you know, electronic machine. And I'm like, my peeps could have done that in like six minutes. <laughs> oh, it was just, I, sometimes computers are not worth the trouble. <laughs> and that's how I feel, that's just me. And you decided this die will work with either Spellbinders machine, is that right? Yes, as long as you have, if you have the smaller one, as long as you use the extended cutting pads, yes. Okay, so I have all these pieces and I'm just getting my dies out. Now I have, I'm getting my layers over here. Now I'm going to put my card a little bit together. I'm going to hold my card. Oh, let's do overhead on this one. There we go. So I have my diamond over here, and I have this big hidden panel over here. I'm going to fold that up just like that to match the card, right? Then I'm going to fold this like a normal flip it. And I always hold it in the air, so I'm just going to do it above this. I'm going to fold it in half towards me, take the top flap, and fold that up and then turn it to the left. So let's do straight on. So now what we have, the little side is always on the left. This is the little side. And then we have dun dun na na, dun dun na na, dun na na. Look at that, okay? Now, I highly recommend you always fold it before you decorate it because you will accidentally decorate the wrong spots if you don't, okay? So fold it first. Now I know where the front is, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start decorating this. So I have all of my fun panels over here. And remember, these are double-sided, so I get to decide, oh, do I want this one or do I want that one? And let's see, I am going to do, oh, that one's kind of boring. I'm gonna do this one on the one side. So I'm gonna get my adhesive. Kenny, did you have any poll questions for today, sweetie? No, I didn't get one ready. Okay, no. that's fine. Um, so I'm gonna add this right there. And, but we need a chat, uh, a chat contest question. Yeah. And then, because you know, this is my absolute favorite one. This is gonna go on the front. So I'm gonna add this one right here. And we're just gonna open this up and we're gonna layer that right there. Look at that. So now look how beautiful that is so far. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna insert the two other layers. Now, I can go like this. See how they have these little notches? So that could go there. 
and this one could go there, right, because of the little notches, or I could just turn these upside down, do that one there and that one there. Or I could do it like that with the missing U and the umbrellas, but I don't want the missing U and umbrellas, and I want this side just to be decorative, and I want this side to be able to where I write my message. Okay, so now I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere these, and I'm going to lay this down right there. Um, we think the Easter Bunny is bringing the boys scooters. Kenny had a conversation with the Easter Bunny the other day, and uh, it sounds like he might be bringing the boys scooters. So, whew, that's gonna be exciting. Okay, so here we go, here's our front. Now we get to decorate a little bit more. Look, I have at least, I have one extra piece. Where is that gonna go? That's gonna go in my envelope where I have all my other dies, pieces for this, for this card. So now I have all these fun flowers and you guys know how I feel about flowers. I absolutely positively adore them. I also have this fun die that has a whole bunch of little circles to add to that as well. Now I get to decide what I want on the inside and normally I would go for those gorgeous dots, but I'm a little concerned it might be a little too busy because I got a pattern here, pattern here, and I don't want extra dots there. That might just be a little too much. So I'm gonna go basic and I'm just gonna do a standard cut which I cannot believe I'm doing a standard cut because that's kind of boring, but I feel like we kind of need to keep it, keep the front simple. Now, grabbing scrap paper out of my scraps, that fits on there perfect right there. I'm just gonna trim this down because I am going to grab out my mini Gemini because it's just so much easier when you have these little dies. So I'm gonna lay that down and I'm gonna run this through really quick. Um, Kenny, are you seeing any questions? I like saw one about, a while back you said something about doing something with Cricut, is that, no longer um i you know what there was some talk about it and it probably pretty much just ended up being only talk um you have to do a lot with your files and i just don't have the knowledge to change all my files to be the right way and um the attorneys kind of didn't like it because then my designs would be out there digitally and so we just kind of went back and forth and we just kind of decided we're not going to for now now of course you know you never know what's going to happen in the future. So um, I would never, I never say never anymore. I've learned that a long time ago, never say never. Um, but as of right now, there's no plans. But good question. So now what I'm doing is I'm layering this die and I'm finding this one. And I think also because I'm not a big um, electronic machine user and uh, I don't want to pretend to be. <laughs> I have one. I have a machine, but I don't want to pretend to be, and um, I would kind of have to actually use it more often than not, and I just love dice so much because they're so fast. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to add that, but I'm going to add some uh, stamp to it, and the stamp that I found that I'm going to use today is this one. I'll hold it under here so you can see it. It is Friend Phrases for HSN. And I am saying a quick prayer right now, now that it's on the website. And I'm going to grab this, and I am going to use the thinking of you, my dear friend. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that it layers on this. And I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to say thinking of you. I'm going to put that face down, stamp down. And then I'm going to say my dear friend. And I'm going to lay that stamp down. And then I can kind of line this up a little bit to decide where I want it to be. Were you going to do a contest? I thought a couple minutes I, ago you said I you was, but I didn't have a I didn't have a question. Ah. And so now I'm I push that down, and now look at that. Now it's perfectly ready to go, right? So I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. Did you have one you wanted to throw off? No, I didn't. Find the bucket, but I just, uh -huh. I just where's the bucket? It's it's Back over here. There, okay. So I'm going to lay this down, and I'm going to stamp. I'm, of course, I'm using my secret weapon. There we go. And I'm gonna lay that down. Okay, so there we have, oh again, just so, every, so people know, this is friend phrases for HSN. So the nice thing is it says, you can say my friend thinking of you, or it's your birthday, my friend, or my friend, let's party, or my dear friend, thank you, or happy birthday, my dear friend, or wishing you the most beautiful day, my dear friend. So it's just mix and match, that's what it is, okay. 
So let's go ahead and add some adhesive to this, and we're going to put this on the front. And I'm looking at this going, oh my word, I cannot do that. Hang on. we got to get some ink on this baby. Okay, so you can't come up with any question right now, okay? Let's see. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I got one. Okay, go. Okay. For today's question, it is going to be, what is your favorite Totally Tiffany storage bag, buddy bag? Is it, Linda says I have a Cricut and never use it too complicated. I know, that's kind of how I feel. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm just, I mean, I, I do a lot with computers because like I have to, de I design on the computers, right? But I'm just like, okay, that's just like enough for my brain. I just want to, I just want to do this. I like to be hands-on. That's my deal. I like to be hands-on. Um, uh, so this one is sunshine. Uh, so my question is, what is your favorite Totally Tiffany buddy bag? Um, it could be the Stephanie bag. It could be the Katie bag. It could be the Kirsten bag. It could be the Sue bag. It could be, if you're not sure, you could just say all of them. Um, it could be the Lois bag, which Lois, let me tell you, has changed my life because somebody had the idea, and I, I, I'm sorry, I never remember the names, but to put all your scraps in all of these trays, see how they have the trays in here? And now all my scraps are in rainbow order in my tray because they used to be in one bucket now it's all organized this is the lowest bag it's all organized by color so when i need a yellow i just go to the yellow file i don't have to dig through my bucket it's all organized by color and let me just tell you it has changed my life it literally stays right there by my feet so instead of grabbing a brand new piece of cardstock which costs more money i grab my scraps and i use my scraps i would say 85% more of the time than I used to. Okay, um, so Lois is an awesome one. Um, this is, because I know people might ask, this is the Sue bag that holds my brushes. Edna holds all my gorgeous embellishments. We have a new embellishment pack coming next month. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so I'm just adding this because, you know, inking is, inking makes your life beautiful. This is the eight drawer. This could be your favorite that holds all my inks. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, now I'm gonna adhere this, because I already added adhesive, I'm gonna adhere that. That just really makes it pop, doesn't it? Look at that, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I need to cut some flowers. I need some more flowers. And this one has a lot of flower options. And I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of different ones. Kenny, what are some of the answers you're seeing? Kirsten and Irene, um, Karen, Katie and Kirsten, I think that's like all of them. Karen, Kirsten, and Kay, uh, all the K's? Yeah. Karen, Kirsten. I was wondering, and Katie. does Tiffany have a bag named after herself? She does not. Oh, wow. Why? Well, because she can't be her own buddy. I guess not. Right? That would be kind of weird. She could have one named after her husband, Park, though. Yep. There are are there that. any guy names for the bags? No. <laughs> so that, or Petey? Petey, Petey could have one. Kirsten, Karen, uh, eight drawer, paper taker. Eight drawer, yeah. Eight drawer, mm, I'm let's see, you. Lois. Lois. A couple few Lois is there. All of them. Katja. All of them. Katja, yeah. Ditto. Ditto bag, <laughs> I don't yeah. know what that means. Oh, Kenny doesn't know the ditto bag because we don't carry it. No. That's a good one. I don't know that one. Kirsten, Karen, paper taker, all of them. Stephanie, yeah. Yep, mostly Stephanie and fam Stephanie's family, huh? <laughs> yeah. Except Karen. Karen's not in my family. No, Karen's but, been popular. But Karen is one of my faves too because our bags fit our envelopes fit in there so look what i'm doing i'm just adding in some flowers here so you guys my dad uh knee surgery was a month ago and he still has not started his physical therapy so you know what i had to do my my dad's doctor has not given him a referral even though his insurance will pay for 50 five zero visits from a physical therapist to his house his doctor has not given him a referral so he's like, I can't find a physical therapist. He goes, do you know any? Well, when I was in fifth grade, I went to school with a boy, and I won't say his name because of privacy issues, but I went to school with a boy when I was 10 that is now a doctor of physical therapy in Southern California. So I reached out to him on Instagram yesterday, and I said, hey, um, do you by chance do my dad's area and uh do you take his insurance which is xyz and 
he texted, he DM'd me back immediately, direct messaged me back immediately, and said, I don't really do that area, but I would be more than happy to go see your dad. I can be there this week, and, um, you know, don't worry about paying me. I'll do it for free. And I said, oh, no, you won't. <laughs> but he's going to go check on my dad tomorrow, and I just said, thank you. So I don't think he watches these because I'm sure he is not a crafter, but to that person, I just want to say thank you very much. I really appreciate that. You have no idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, my father. But um, we need to get him up and moving. Okay, any other ones, Kenny, that we should um, yell out before we... Nope, nope. Okay. I think we covered them all. Okay, so did you pick a winner? Yeah, I picked a winner from um, YouTube. Mm -hmm. She said she likes the pink craft and carry bag. Yes. And it's Teresa Mays. Teresa Mays, congratulations. You just won a $25 gift certificate to our website. You are going to email Faylene at info at the stamps of life.com and you are going to get a $25 gift certificate to the website. Congratulations. Yay. Don't you love that? How fun is that? Oh, oh, can you, um, hang on. Can you email Amy really quick and ask her if the if the bonus points are live now, Kenny. Okay. Really quick, because I want to be able to announce that in today's video, because it's very, very important, but I need to make sure it's uh, true before I say it, because it's a big, big news deal. Really big, huge kind of, like huge. Um, I need to find green, huge. Uh, so I'm really hoping, I meant to look and I totally forgot. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm grabbing another... Oh, okay. Problem. I was going to use this color, dark blue. It's uh, midnight. Because I need that to color. But, my friends, my second favorite pattern in this pad is on the back. So I can't use it. I've got to find a scrap. Um, so, yeah, we need to find out if that is legitimately going, Kenny, because that is a big deal. So I'm going to use scraps. Um, whenever you just have scraps, you can just easily just cut your adhesive sheets if you want. And I'm just going to use this one right there. Peel it off. And I'm going to put this on the back, and this will now be a sticker. I don't know if Amy watches these live. I don't think she gets a chance to watch them live. Okay, and I'm going to peel. I'm just going to trim this right there because I just want some pieces for my flowers. I'm going to add some dots. So this has a whole bunch. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, wow. Well, ten little dots for the centers of your flowers. And then I'm also going to add some of these. And let's get some of the, oh, well, that doesn't fit very many, does it? Okay, that one. And this one and that one. Okay. So you got to have a lot of flowers. Any extras, remember, I'll just put in the envelope to save for later. So I know my desk is really dirty right now. I need to clean it a little. Okay, there we go. And what do we have here? We have some more flowers. Okay, so look at all those awesome little flowers. I mean, dots there. I'm going to grab these out. Grab my tweezers to get those out. Oops, let's pull this one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the rest of our flowers together and we're going to decide what else to do to decorate this. Um, meanwhile, Kenny's emailing Amy just to ask her. I just, or maybe Dina knows the answer. I don't know. Okay, so moving on. Moving, oh, there's the green. I could use, oh, really quick, gosh. Okay, so got my adhesive sheet. Let me do some green really quick. It's always better to have as many color flowers as you can, right? Oh, but look who's on the back. Oh, oh, this is painful, painful, painful. Just do it. Okay. What did you just do? I didn't understand that. Oh, because that's my favorite pattern, and oh. I'm using it on the back. <laughs> I see. Oh, pain, pain. But you do sometimes sacrifice the team. I know. Okay, so we're going to put as many flowers in here because we're running it through. We might as well grab a whole bunch, right? And there's another flower. There's another dye. Let's, get, let's just do a whole bunch of green. Okay, so there we go. Lay this down. Sandwich it together. Hold it tight. Hold it tight when you run it over here because you want to make sure those dies don't move too much. Are there any sneak peeks today? Uh, the cross flip it was a sneak peek. I could show the embellishment pack, but that's not going to be for a long time. So that one I don't want to really show because that one's going to be a long time away. Um, do you, can you think of one to do? No. Okay. <laughs> <What was that? laughs> no. I don't know. Okay. So I'm now sneak peeks here's right. my message. Oh, sorry, they can't see. So here is where I'm going to write my message, right? 
I miss you. Oh, oh, actually, it was going to be this. I'm going to do this. So one of the stickers in the card kit is one of these. And I was going to use, because I said, thinking of you, my dear friend, and I'm going to say, be gentle with yourself. You are doing the best you can, because I think that just is so sweet. So I'm going to peel this up. Now, I could pop it up a little bit, but you know what? In all honesty, I'm just going to lay it down because I just want it to be, you know, sometimes people just need to be reminded that, hey, you're doing the best you can. Life sometimes is not easy, let me tell you, right? Okay, so now I have all of these flower options. Let's just grab some over here. And this is how I like to do my flowers, you guys. I like to get them all out. I have some dots over here. I'm gonna get my flowers over here. I like to just kind of get an idea of what I have, and then I literally mix and match them together. Now, I don't really think about my card very much yet, because I don't know which flowers I'm gonna use for my card. I just wanna get the flowers on, you know, put together, and then I can decide, oh, hey, I'm gonna use this, or oh, hey, I'm gonna use that. So there's that one. Got a couple extras that are kind of pokey through. There's that, whoops, how am I in time? Okay, we're good. Are you able to print on our card stock, like in a printer? Yes, you can. Does that work, yeah? Yes, I've done that multiple times. Okay, and okay. then, oh, there was another question. Oh, on the mini, that's the mini Gemini, right? The small die cutting yes. machine. Uh -huh. How do you keep the little folders from curling so much? Oh, good question. So what I do is like right now you can see, oh, right now you can see how it's it's kind of popping up. What I do is I flip it over and run it through this way now. And so then I just run my dice through here. They're like double-sided. So then you can run, run them through this way. And then when it starts to get curled the other way, then I would just flip it back and run it through this way again. So yeah, you can just run it through just like that and then it'll kind of straighten out a little bit. So yeah, I always, every once in a while, I'll just flip them either way um, just to make them uh, get used uh, more you know, all around. And that really, really, really will help. So I'm gonna add my pink flowers. And look, you can mix and match these. You could go off to the side like that if you wanted, but I'm gonna go straight on. So I'm gonna add that right there. Okay, oh, 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 wait a minute. Um, I have, well, I don't want to show that one. I thought I had this one. I got some epoxy dots for this baby too, right? Um, ooh, which one is this? This is one. Oh, I think I'm in love with epoxy dots. Okay, so here we have one. Now let's hurry up and just make a couple flowers. So we're just going to peel this one up. Seems like that stamp set's not on our website. Is there did you another place did you to get it? it? I'm just seeing what customers have said. Uh, search uh, friend phrases. Friend? Yeah. And we're going to pop this one open. And we're going to, because I mean, honestly, that's something I'd probably do accidentally grab something that's not on our website because that just sounds like something I would do. Okay. And then we're going to grab this one. Oh, and some of these might not even need layers, they just need little dots, right? So definitely use your tweezers. Don't try to do these without the tweezers. No, nothing comes up for friend oh, phrases. Oh gosh, we'll have to look at, find that one, see where that is. So we will put in, we will look out for that one and try to figure out where that one is. Um, search HSN. I don't know, that might not be good, but try. That might be um, too many things. I don't know like what comes up if it's just everything. No, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry. On our website, search HSN. Oh, okay. Um, it, I don't. It's. I don't think it's on their website. Okay, so we're gonna add this one. Ooh, let's add that one right there. Look how pretty those are. So you can go to town on these. You could also, if you wanted, and to make this go faster, I will use some epoxy dots. Could it be every day for HSN? Let me see. And it says my friend. Thank you. Uh, can you blow it up so I can see it? No, that's not it. No, uh, no, that's not it. Very close, though. I mean, the first one is very close. The happy birthday was very close. Happy birthday for HSN. Um, okay, we'll have to look to see where um, mm -hmm. where that one is. I don't see it. We'll get it on as soon as we can, you guys, um, because that doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so let's grab, because it's a really good one, too. I really like that one because it's very universal. You're going to use it over and over again, so we'll, we'll find it. Okay, so I'm just going to add some more dots to this one, whoops, really quick, to finish this one up. Are some of our um, card socks coming in different weights now? 
They've always come under pressure. Yeah, so I think just the customer is asking about that. So it's always possible, right? Because that's the only way we can keep some of the colors. Is that uh, correct? Yeah, we would change the number on yeah. when, it, when it would say. Um, but most of them are staying pretty, um, like they all, like, like I know blueberry is 65. Um, the lowest we go is 65, unless you're doing the text weight for the envelopes. But um, some, every once in a while, have to change because, of course, we're at the mercy of the mills, which um, literally are on this earth to annoy me um, at this point because they keep canceling or just they keep canceling orders, and, and it's been crazy lately. Do you know what this question means, Stephanie? What bag is the dot in? Oh, the dots <laughs> are in the Barbara bag. The Barbara bag is really handy dandy because it has two little drawers or two little uh, boxes in it. And so I keep all of my epoxies in the Barbara bag because then I can like just literally, did you see me go like this? I was like, oh, that one. And then I was able to pull it out like that. So it's always really handy for me to have that, um, to know what colors I want to grab. You might have already answered this, but how did the taco cookies come out from the taco party? They used our dyes, is that right? For the, to make tacos? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. So you, there were, um, from the boys' birthday party, uh -huh. there was taco cookies. Oh, they turned out great. They were amazingly, unfortunately, delicious. Because in one day I ate four. Um, and I probably, that wasn't my record. Let me just tell that you that. That was a taco party. <laughs> that was a taco party, yes. Now, Ken and Stephanie still have their ba the ban the taco happy, happy Taco Tuesday banner on their wall. Because we have no pictures there. So uh, eventually we're going to have to get rid of that. But I'm enjoying it too much. So look what I did there. I added that cute little guy right there. Now I could add something right here if I wanted. And I might as well. I'm going to really quick get a die cut. And let's see what color we want to do. I'm thinking I would like to do a light blue. Because to coordinate with that. So I'm going to grab that light blue. And let's see if I can find that color. La la la. I don't think that's the right color. It's not that one. Um, let's grab blue. Lori says, tell this to your dad, I think. What's that? The longer, this is for your dad. The longer you wait for physical therapy, the longer the recovery. I believe it. <laughs> and if the man would listen to me, he would, he would know that. But for some reason, remember you guys, those of you that have been around a long time, he did this two years ago. And refused to do physical physical therapy because he thought he was too good for it. And his recovery was a long time. And unfortunately, he didn't remember how long the recovery was because he didn't do it this time. You have to have a special kind of printer to print on cardstock? Uh, no, but you what you do need to do is to print on the card, any cardstock, you need to search your either owner's manual for your printer or um, you can Google it. How to print on cardstock using Epson blah 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 printer. So you need to Google search your printer to find out how to print on cardstock because there is an internal, and you'll never find it on your own, trust me, I've tried, an internal uh, uh, setting you have to change so you can print on the cardstock. Because it, it, you need to tell your printer that it's a thicker piece of paper that it's going to pull. And it needs to know that in order to be able to um, print. Just a heads up, I see my ugly flower right here. It's beautiful on this side, right? But I see the ugly back of it here. So what am I doing? I'm taking the same size flower and I'm gonna just lay that right on top, right there. So I can put my friend's name there. And then when I open this up, I can write my cute little message. And there we go. Oh gosh, I almost feel like, well, we gotta add a couple of extra flowers just because, right? I made them, might as well. So, oh, that one doesn't have adhesive on the back. How in the world did that happen? So we're just gonna add adhesive to this one really quick. And we're gonna just add a little one right there. And I really feel like I need to incorporate yellow a little bit more. I have yellow here, but when I open this up, I only have one little dot of yellow. So let's grab two more flowers really quick. Little ones, little ones, uh, ideally, there we go, blue. And I'm just gonna grab this. I always like to see a splash of color when it's three. So I'm totally making a mess today, aren't I? Um, so we're gonna peel this up. Come on. Okay. Any other last minute questions you're seeing, Kenny? Uh, well, we does it matter if it's uh, inkjet or laser? Does that make a difference or? 
Um, Every machine could be different, right? What kind is ours? Ours is, is ink inkjet. Ink inkjet uh, will work. So I don't know if I've ever test. I don't know if I have a laser jet, a laser printer to test. So that I couldn't answer. Um, the best bet would be uh, to Google your uh, printer and then check to see what it says about using cardstock. Boom. Everybody says parents just get stubborn and they don't listen to their kids. I know, right? Is that true? I believe it. <laughs> I'm not listening to my kids because my kids don't know nothing compared to me, right? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> see, so I guess it goes both ways, doesn't it? I guess mm -hmm. it does. I guess it does. Okay. Um, boom, there it is. Oh, got to finish it off by adding my personal stamp, which, oops, that one just fell off. Um, which I am a little concerned it might not work because look at this. I have all these little bumpies here. And when I turn this over, I'm going to have to kind of go over here to make sure that it will stay. And we're going to want to find a smaller one. Oh, uh, let's see. Will that one fit? Okay, hang on. If I do that, does that show? Okay, so I can cover this little spot right here with my personalized stamp because look, you can't see it. So I'm gonna kind of go like over here. I'm gonna do it like right there. So, um, but this is the one that says created by Stephanie Bernard. Um, what's it say? Wait, what's it say? Created with, by Stephanie with love and lots of Diet Coke. Because isn't that the truth, right? I live on caffeine. Okay, ink, ink, ink. And we're going to stamp that right there. Hopefully it gets all the contact because I have dots underneath. Oh, pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. Mess that up a little. But here we go. Look at this. Ready? Oops. Dun, dun, dun. Oops. There we go. Thinking of you, my dear friend. Open it up. I can write their name right there. Open it up. And it says, be gentle with yourself. You are doing the best you can. That's from our kit club this month. And then, of course, on the back, I have my finished by Stephanie Bernard with lots of Diet Coke and love. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love it. I know. It turned out pretty good, huh? My friends, cross flip it tonight. We have our online class, if you've signed up for that, next Tuesday night. And usually, we release something else the night of the class just saying just saying so you might want to be thinking a little bit about that Shelly says what bag do you use for sequins good question this is my sequin collection and this is the uh, I want to double check the Edna bag Edna Edna beauty of love look at this look at turn it do the three real quick can you do three, three? Look at this. Okay, you guys. Look at that. Is that just like the most gorgeous? Like, don't you almost want to like kiss it? It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is the Edna bag. Just a heads up. Cher Cherie says, I agree with Maggie F. This is one of the cutest cards you've ever made. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you. Well, you know why? It's because that pattern paper is like the best paper. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> I love it. And then the flowers. Now keep in mind, how many die sets did I use? One die set. Crazy, right? All of the dies I used are in this card base. So, pretty cool. Uh, again, it's the Diamond Flip It Plus. And that is it, my friends. So, thank you. Thank you so much for your love and your support and your prayers. Um, they mean the absolute... You have no idea how much it all means to us. Um, when I was sick last week, I really felt like I knew a lot of you were praying for me. And I just want to say thank you. Um, that really meant a lot. Ken, can you put on um, on the second screen? Yes. Okay. Um, but uh, I just want to say thank you. We really appreciate it. It's because of all of you. Kenny and I get to do what we love. And uh, we just want to say thanks. And it just means a lot to us that you guys are here week after week. And we appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you share and like and subscribe to this video if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, please like and share. It really, really does help us. It takes you 10 seconds or less actually, but it really does help us because it tells Facebook and YouTube that we're worthwhile of sharing. And if you share us, then other people will see us. And then that's how we kind of get the word out about our company. Um, because you know, there's not big magazines to subscribe anymore. Obviously we can't afford a television commercial or things like that. So it really helps us get the word out about our company. And we just want to say thank you. So have a lovely weekend. Stay safe, stay happy. 
what? Amy got back to us. She said oh. yes with an exclamation point. Good. I get to talk about it really quick. I know some of you have already left. Guess what? Linda even said, did you find out about the bonus points? Yes. Here's the deal. Starting today, might have started yesterday, but starting today, in your account, you are going to go to your, you're going to log into my website and you're going to go to my account and you're going to scroll down to the bottom. Um, you know, because like it'll list your gift card, uh, any extra gift cards you still have not used. It'll list your orders. Scroll down and it will have the information. Can you really quick go in as um, use as a user so I can be sure to say this the right way? Um, so just pick a customer and just go in as log in as a user. Okay. Um, because what it's going to be is it's going to be a little link that you can copy and then on your Facebook or your Instagram or anywhere you go. Okay, so go to, yeah, scroll down. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, okay, go back up. So you're gonna go under my account and then go to clubs, I think, to the left. My clubs? Yeah. So you're gonna go to my account and then you're gonna click on, scroll down. No, it's not there. Um, maybe account dashboard. I just want to tell them the exact place it's yeah. going to be. Uh, let me see. No? Okay, go to the try. Keep trying. Keep going. Uh, I don't think it's under that one. Hang on, it's worth the wait, you guys. Uh, darn it. Uh, Earn more points. Oh, I'm sorry, it is there. I'm sorry, I couldn't see it from here. It is under, which one is it? Account dashboard? Account dashboard. So it's under account dashboard. It could be under my account too, if that's where, click on my account just so I can go back to that one. At the very top, right there, yeah. Or is that not a link? That's not a link? No. Okay, so on your account dashboard, halfway down, you'll see a thing that says copy link. If you copy that link and share it with your friends, and if one of your friends or more join the club, normally you get 100 points each extra. No, no, no. We're doing a, we're doing a, a big promotion. It's going to be for the now until the entire April, all of April. You both get 500 points. You get 500 points for telling your friend about it if they join. They get 500 points for you telling them to join. Now, that means you're getting $5 worth of club points and your friend is getting $5 worth of club points. Now, is there a limit on how many you can earn? No. If you have 100 friends join, what's 100 times $5? Is that $500? I think so. <laughs> $500 free from the Stamps of Life if you get 100 friends to join. The more friends you get to join, the more money you get from us. Kenny and I are just handing out the money, okay? now. To add a cherry on top, the top three refers at the end of April, so you get all of the rest of March and all of April, all of April, the three top refers are going to get, on top of all what they got, they earned, a $25 gift certificate to our website, the top three people. So now is your chance. Go, go into all the places that you hang out with crafty people. Tell them how much you love the club. Say, hey, use my link and we both get five bucks extra of club points. And don't forget the monthly commitment's only three months. So your friend can check us out. They can try us. You can tell them why you love us and you both get five bucks if they join. Is that cool or what? I think it's cool. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really fun to see what happens. And so again, until the starting now until the end of April, you both get five bucks and you can refer as many people as you want. If you refer a hundred people that join, you get 500 bucks. Deal. In cash? No, in club points. Cl club points. <laughs> that you can in. use for products on my website. You don't get cash. So like $500. So, any, Rhonda's question. Can they join any of the clubs? Yes. Any of the clubs. Any of the clubs. Anne Marie says, I found it. I will share now. It's at the top of the account page. Yes. Um, Kulti says, wow, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And you know what? You, we're kind of like paying you 
to be our to be our spokespeople and say hey, our influencers in, you're our influence you're our social media influencers <laughs> so when somebody says if you're retired and somebody says what do you do for a living you could say well i was retired but now i'm a social media influencer yes that's what you are so can you if, just post that link anywhere anywhere you want so on their Facebook page, on your Facebook or page, they can email Instagram. someone. Now I bet the fan page because you're probably all already know everything. The fan page, I'm sure Darlene or somebody on the fan page is going to say, "Okay, yeah, don't keep posting on the fan page because that's like preaching to the choir, right?" But everybody else, go for it. Your favorite people, anybody online, on your marks, get set, go. Don't forget, top three get an extra twenty-five bucks. Okay, thank you so much, you guys. I'm excited about this. I'm so glad somebody reminded me and I'm so glad Amy responded. Starting now, go. Let's see who's gonna win, okay? Thank you so much, have a great day and I will see you Monday for No Makeup Monday. Okay, take care, bye-bye.